Oh, I think I get this. You have to evade. To evade, you press those while holding the circle. You don't have to be holding something. <laughs> and then press those things. But you guys are probably going to tell me that in that other video, so it's okay. Uh, yeah, so what's up? It's David, and we're playing Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Ground and Pound is what I need to try this time. And we're on level 5, the Halloween party. So let's just get right into it and see what kind of party is going on here. Not of terror, the twins are unstoppable, question mark? I don't know, I highly doubt it if I can beat them. Oh man, look at this cup. Hey, you wanna, you wanna drink? Never take drinks at parties from people you don't know. Can I pick up the pumpkin? No, just the umbrella. Well, this door has a star on it, so I can go into it. <laughs> That's cool. I uh, wonder what's behind there. Seems to be ominous. Oh, it's another subspace part. Yeah, stars are a symbol of the subspace for some reason. The subspace emissary. What was the subspace emissary? Uh, the subspace emissary. I don't know. It sounds familiar for some reason. Maybe that's where I am? No, that was a subspace highway. I don't know. It sounds familiar for some reason. I'm sure someone can tell me. So yeah, we're in high school again. Scott Pilgrim is still in high school and there's lockers all over the place. But the lockers cannot distract us from all of the money in... <laughs> in these random blocks in the hallway. It's pretty cool when you think about it. Okay, come on. Come on, I just, there we go. Okay, let's get all these nickels and quarters and stuff and uh, keep beating up these boxes. Well, this is a nice way to start out a level with a bunch of money. <laughs> what is a better way to start a level? I have 200 and almost $20. That's, I've, I've been told that I really wanna, I wanna focus on those late fees, so. I don't know whether I'll probably just keep my moderate spending going and uh, continue to save a lot of it, the majority of the money. Well, somehow I ended up over here. <laughs> I feel like I... <laughs> that is kind of scary. The pinata guy, donkey, uh, caballero got hanged. It's a little creepy, honestly. Oh my gosh, skeleton guys, do I fight you? Yes, apparently I do. Oh my gosh, pumpkin head guys, this is... This is quite creepy. You're gonna try to hit me with that giant party beach ball? I don't think that would have that great of effect, honestly. Man, well, it's a party, so we gotta have the kegs again. Oh, sheesh. Man, you guys are creepy. You're like just laughing while you're standing there. Oh, I forgot I only have one life left now. Okay, so I feel like I kind of missed some stuff, but I'll probably die before uh, before too long, so I'll get the chance to go over it again. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so it's a party. There's people talking and drinking while I'm beating up dudes with giant skeleton heads. I guess everyone has a skeleton head. It's just that theirs is exposed. Why is everything shaking? Oh no, better get out of the way. Something's coming. <laughs> giant disco ball attack. That was not what I was going to think would happen. Oh man, now there's big, big pumpkin head guys and Robotron Gundam dudes. Man, some of these guys' costumes are pretty cool. I would never thought to dress up like a Gundam from only the neck up. That is, uh, <laughs> that might be something I do in the near future. On Halloween, of course, not just for any old day. I don't want to go to the bank as a Gundam. They might take offense for some reason, I don't know. Yeah, well that's cool. So it's mask party day, and uh, we're just beating the guys up with the masks. They, uh, you guys even have your hands in your pockets. You don't see me as much of a threat, do you? Well, I will have to change your opinion through violence. Through being a threat, I guess. That's not a bad way. You have a hockey stick. Do you plan on playing hockey at this party? I don't think so. This is a uh, this is a non-hockey party. A very because hockey promotes violence, and we we don't want violence at this party. That's why I'm just gonna beat your brains out. Okay, let's keep going. Oh man, the store is opening or the garage robot. One, join the party. <laughs> okay, giant hand robot. What? Invented by the twins, size small. Oh, so the twins are evil geniuses, and uh, I have to fight their minions before I actually get to fight them. Oh man, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. <laughs> I just love this move. It is so convenient. And you are dead, so I'm gonna try to give you a big uppercut. Well, uh... That wasn't as fun as it probably should have been. <laughs> I mean, it was fun, it wasn't as challenging. That move, I think, is somewhat overpowered. Why is everything shaking? I think I'm supposed to go through here. Yes, I went I went outside. Okay, we're leaving the party. We're taking this outside. Hey, look, it's, it's that dude from the cover. Oh, he's walking away. Is he one of the twins? I don't think so. Oh my gosh! Skeleton man through the window. Stuntman, skeleton man. See, stuntmen, they always, that's thats what they look like. All the stuntmen, you just don't get to see it because they wear wigs and stuff, so they look like whoever they are acting for. Oh man, and they punch you in the back. So, yes! Um, 
yeah, not much to say about that. It's raining out here. That's cool, right? <laughs> so yeah, I just gotta beat up these these pumpkin guys and the skeleton guys. I don't know. I don't know why it's a Halloween party here. I guess. I don't know. I, I'm, I am at a loss for words for once. Uh, <laughs> I guess the day we decide to fight the twins just happens to be Halloween. I don't know. Can you have a Halloween party on a day that is not Halloween? I don't see why not. We should start doing that more often. I guess if it's if it's not Halloween, then it is simply a costume party, not a Halloween party. Oh man, pumpkin guys with suits now. I have a feeling that they were going to blow up or something because it did not take much to defeat them. Oh, I haven't tried my uh, ground pound move yet. I need to practice that. Oh man, that was pretty cool. Ground pound. Oh, they're already dead. Okay, no problem. Uh, can I go through this? Yes, I can go through the sliding door into the shop. Oh man, look, one of those, whoops, one of those cat clocks on the wall. I want one of those, man. Two people manning this shop. Iced tea, tropical punch, kebab, hamburger, and filet mignon. Well, uh, I'm gonna have some filet mignon. And, uh, I got 200 heart points. I don't even have that much capabilities. <laughs> um, can I take a tropical punch with me to go? Yes, I would like that to go. Oh, oh look, it's like a little martini glass up there. Well, that's cool. And I will also have a hamburger. And there we go. What did the hamburger give me? It gave me some defense and some strength. Awesome. Well, let's be on our merry way. Thank you for your services, peeps. And now we are on the roof again. This is somewhat dangerous. Oh, going up the fire escape. Well, that's cool. Oh, no. What? Oh, wow. Giant robot hand attack. I have no time for you, pumpkin men. I must hurry up the stairs. And by hurry, I mean just walk for some reason. Oh, no. Don't get in my way, dude. Oh, I died. Oh, I just fell off. Okay. Oh, oh hey. How did you grab me from way down there? Oh, dang it. Wow, I am failing completely at um, avoiding these hands attacks. Oh, I almost made it that time. Oh, up on the roof. There we go. Rooftops. Yes, it is the top of the roof. Why is the world on fire? What did you do to... Oh my gosh, it's a giant gun. No. <laughs> Size maximum. Wow, that is cool. Okay. Oh, I have to fight your hands first? Sheesh, okay. Well, I can, I can do that. I guess it's better than fighting the whole robot as just a little boy. Oh, quick. Yeah, there we go. Oh, sheesh. You have a... There's a, a circle. Oh, dang. Clap attack. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay, I feel like I'm playing Super Smash Brothers. I'm uh, fighting Master Hand and Crazy Hand. Oh, no, what are you... Missiles! Oh, my gosh. Oh, ah! Okay, so they target me. I'm at zero plus health. I got 40 back for my snack. Okay. Uh, where are you, dude? There you are. Okay, let me see your hands. Put your hands in the air, and, uh, and let me hit them over and over again. Okay. Whoa. Um, I guess you're gonna do your missiles again. That's fine. I'm just gonna try to avoid them this time. I think by continually moving... Nope. Nope. Continually moving doesn't work. Just, uh, avoidance is a, is a better strategy. It didn't work either. Okay, got points. Thank you for saving me again. I'm probably... I don't know. I might be able to beat you before time runs out, but I am not too sure because my health is somewhat low to say the least oh sheesh you punched me into the oh no 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 not a back and forth punch attack okay <laughs> you think i'm doing a good job you want to clap for me well i think i'm doing a good job too considering i just destroyed your hands how will you ever eat your sausages now oh man you guys were in the gundam i was not expect oh Okay, <laughs> I have to move to a different area to fight them. I thought that was it. I was like, no way. The Dragon's Den, wow. Keeping the Japan theme going with uh, some Gundam and stuff. Like wow, <laughs> they melt. They melt when you uh, beat them up. It is not something I had expected. Um, but they do give a lot of money for just being statues. Who hides their money in statues? Smart people, that's who. Except, uh, they did not expect someone like me to come around and try to, uh, melt their statues with my fists. Oh, dang, dog bite in the back of the head. And that is it. Alright, well, we're gonna continue. Oh, way back here. Well, uh, I wanted to see what it was like to not go through that star area. And so let's, let's just continue on. Hey, twins, you and your rising sun shirts in Japan. Okay, um, oh, wow! There's the hanged donkey. Oh, he's like a piñata! I can beat him up! That's mildly disturbing. Okay, uh, I wonder what's inside the piñata guy. Just a hat. Oh my gosh, a lot of money and a raging dragon coming right at me. Okay, there we go. Two dollars and even more dollars. Well, I am pleasantly 
pleased. I, I guess pleasant, pleasantly pleased is, is kind of a redundant phrase. Hey, don't be mad at me. Be mad at these people that are trying to kill me. Okay. Wow, I did some awesome juggling combos on you, guy. Oh, pick up pumpkin head. Can I pick? Yes, I got the pumpkin head. We're gonna go smashing pumpkins. That's a, that's not a bad name. It's not copyright. I'm just uh, simply stating an action. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, get some bonsai plants, but I wonder if I can bounce on that bed. What is a bed doing in the middle of a party? I don't know. This might be one of those parties, if you, if you know what I <laughs> mean. Just hit myself in the face with a, with a bottle. Not something you want to do every day. Oh, wow, that... That was totally on purpose. I, I meant to be that cool. Oh man, more guys. You, I don't, I don't, I don't trust you, pumpkin guys in the suits. You're kind of scaring me. You were down, and I could have tried my attack. Ugh, I need to try my attack when you guys are down. Okay, get one of you down. One of you fall over. Just fall over for me, would you? Um, don't die though, like that guy. Just fall over. Man, this is slightly more difficult than I would have expected. No, not a dog pile. No dog piles. Dog piles are bad. There we go. Now, down enemy, down in triangle. Ah, oh, I missed. I missed my opportunity. Money! Man, I love picking up money when I'm moving fast. That should try picking up money on a roller coaster. When you go over, you know, when you go over the, the loops and people drop their money out of their purses. Okay, you're dead, right? Yes, you are. Give me your money, and we will be on our merry way. Jump on the bed! Jump on the bed! Nope. <laughs> I was hoping the bed would be bouncy, but alas, it is not. Alright, and uh, what is that laser man doing right there? I don't know. While in midair, oh wow, it's a double jump kind of spin attack thing. Oh man, I can, oh, I can juggle myself in the air. That is, that's a pretty cool concept, if I, if I can, uh, if I can time it right. But uh, yeah, it didn't work that time, but that's okay. Man, what are you, super, super gun, gun star hero guy, what are you doing just standing over there? I don't know. I'm kind of weirded out by you, honestly. You you're, you're, you kind of got that creepy anime face going on. Robot plus pilgrim. I don't know what that means, but uh, I'm sure I'll find out. Okay, so I've been here before now. This is where, yeah, this is the rolling disco balls. Well, uh, I guess I will see you guys uh, when I get back to a place I haven't been before, when I go face the robots. I will see you guys then. Adios. I don't want to say it adios, so I'm going to see you again in a minute. Where did you come from? You weren't here last time. Oh, dang, punch in the face. That's what that move does. Well, what do you know? <laughs> okay, we're here once again. They're, once again, rabid dogs. They're not rabid, they're just attack dogs. And there's a bouncer here. I guess the twins hired a bouncer for their party, but he just kind of kind of missed the part of the party he was supposed to go to, and he just followed the giant robot head to, uh, to their secret lair. And now he can protect them from me, or me from them. What, wait, what? Them from me? Yeah, protect them from me, that works. Ah, my grammar's all confused today. Really? I thought I had like a full-on health when I came in, or full-on life when I came in here. I don't know. Don't know how well I'm going to be able to do on this level. Might have to go do some leveling up, because yeah, I'm on my last life now. Sheesh Louise, this is a... Well, I, I knew when I started that this was going to get a little difficult. We are on level 5, which is only two away from the end. So, yeah. It's not unheard of that I would have to do some leveling up. Oh, okay, bouncer guy. You're done. Well, almost done. There, now you're done. Yeah, you you didn't cramp up this time. You just disappeared, huh? Oh, man, why are there spikes all over on the floor? Ah, bats! <laughs> this is a very hazardous hazardous living quarters. Oh man, it's like the boulder guy except now you're you're Chinese and you have a, a little bowl cut hair. Oh dang, he sat on me too. Yeah, that is a lot of damage. Wow. Oh my gosh, I am so kind of screwed. <laughs> Sheesh. Stop. Whoa. Hold up, guy. Let me guard for a sec and then roll out of it and then get on one side of you guys. There we go. Okay, do some meteor kicks. Get away from you so you don't Punch me when you get up. Do your little, your little break dancing attack. Uh, oh, you bounce too. Oh man, were you like dancing right there? That's what it looked like to me. Whoa! With object press triangle or er, square. Well, I tried to pick that up, but I, I could not. Okay, where's an object to pick up? Well, I'll just take your money first. Whew, now let's see. Where's an object? Object, object of my affection. Oh man, I gotta be careful. It's like a maze. So if you don't want to fall off. <laughs> or kill bats by smacking them in the face. What is this dragon statue doing here? I cannot do- Oh! 